Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's PowerPoint tutorial we will get creative with videos and slide design. First I'll show you how to create a full screen video background, after that we'll add video circles to this infographic and finally we will insert a video in a phone mockup. So let's go! Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration and many more. I have recently started a class on Skillshare called Animate Your Illustrations with After Effects by Manon Luart. And although I'm a PowerPoint user, I never miss a chance to learn from other creators using other programs, and in this case it's After Effects. Manon has used several awesome techniques to make her illustrations alive, such as bending, looping, easing and adding expressions. All of this inspires me to create something similar in PowerPoint. So definitely check out this class if you'd like to bring your illustrations to life. By the way, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get one month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. And now let's continue with the video. Alright my friends, so let's jump into the magical world of PowerPoint and in today's tutorial I'm using Microsoft 365 for Mac and in this video we'll be using some slides that we have already created in my previous tutorial and that is Beginner's Guide to Microsoft PowerPoint and if you don't have those slides you can just jump to my YouTube channel, go to videos and click on this video Beginner's Guide to Microsoft PowerPoint and now let's jump to the video description where you will find this link where we can download these beautiful tutorial slides so let's just click on this link and you will jump to my Patreon page and here you can download these uh, beginner tutorial slides for absolutely free alright so let's open up those slides let's maximize the PowerPoint window and I think we can start working with these beautiful slides Let's just turn off notes, we don't need them. And now let me show you how we can add a full screen video background to slide number 2. So let's just first uh, duplicate slide number 2 so that later on we can compare the results. Alright? So to insert a video all we have to do is just go to insert and click on this button video. You can choose a video from your computer but let's uh, explore these stock videos provided by PowerPoint. Alright? And as I can see, we have some tags or categories of different videos. So let's just scroll through these videos. I think a dark kind of video would work well in our slide design. So let's uh, choose this dark category. And now let's pick any video that we like, for example, this one and click insert. And now we get this blue awesome video background. It looks like as if we're flying through space. That's awesome. But as you can see, it is on top of the rest of the content of the slide, which means we have to send this video to back. So you can use a shortcut, Shift Command B if you're on Mac, or you can just go to video format and click on this button, send to back. So feel free to use any method that's best for you. All right. And now let's select all of the text. You can hit Ctrl A to select everything and let's set the font color to white. By the way, a couple of things are still missing, this website button, the OneSkill logo and this square for the slide number. And that is because these things were set in the slide master. So let's jump to slide master, let's scroll to the top. Let me select the logo, this button and this square for the slide number. Let's copy these guys, let's get back to normal view. And now let's paste these guys on top of this video. All right. Now let's make sure we select the video, select this colorful square and let's send these guys to back so that the slide number is on top. Alright, and now all of the elements are present on both of these slides. Now let's select the video, let's go to playback and let's make sure that this video loops until it stopped and that it starts automatically as well. We can jump to animation pane and let's see what's going on. Alright, so the video play animation is at the top of the list, alright, so we can check out this slide on the full screen. So all of these colorful bubbles come in from the sides and in the background we have this beautiful looping video. That's awesome. And now let me show you how we can add a subtle shadow to this person so that it stands out a little bit better. We can right click, choose format picture, let's go to shadow options and let's choose this preset in the middle. That's awesome. 
For the shadow color let's use black, for the transparency 30% and for the blur let's try 30 points. Alright, so let's check out the slide once again on the full screen. And now as you can see our person has a subtle shadow and he stands out a little bit better in this awesome video background. And this was our previous slide, just plain and white background. And this is our second version with the video background, so choose whichever design you like better. And now let me show you how we can add videos to these infographic circles. So these four slides are pretty much identical and the only difference is the position of this purple color overlay. So as you can see in different slides, this purple overlay is in different position. And this color overlay is just a simple circle with a little bit of transparency and instead of this guy we will use a video. So let's just select all of these four slides and let's duplicate them so that we can experiment with some videos. Now let's jump to slide number 8 and let's make sure that we ungroup these circles and these text boxes so that we can access all of the individual parts and this is our semi-transparent circle. Alright, we'll be using this guy later on so let's just leave it here on the side and now we can go to insert video and once again let's search for a stock video. I think this time we can look for something purple so that it stays in the same purple theme. Alright, so let's try this video. That's awesome, it covers the whole slide so let's reduce its size. Let's hold down the shift key to maintain the proportions. Now let's select the semi-transparent circle, let's bring it to the front so that it is on top of our awesome video. We can add some white outlines so that we can see this semi-transparent circle better, that's good. Now let's uh, preview this video, looks like some kind of awesome purple waves, that's good. And now you can position this circle wherever you wish, later on we will select the video, the circle and we will crop this video to this circle. So let's make sure that we select the video, hold down the shift key, select the circle and as well make sure that you have these special buttons in your quick access toolbar, these are called shape functions and if you don't know how to add shape functions to your quick access toolbar you can watch my video on how to create a video in PowerPoint, there I provide the explanation. And now let's choose the intersect function and this way we have cropped our video to this beautiful circle. As you can see the video is still playing, that's awesome. Alright, so let's make sure that this circle uh, video is selected, let's go to playback. So let's make sure that this video starts automatically and that it loops until it stopped. That's awesome. And now we'll have to put this uh, circle video just below this light bulb and this smaller uh, circle. So let's make sure we select the light bulb, this smaller circle. Let's bring them to front and now we can position the circle video just below these two guys in the front. That's awesome. And now we can copy this video and place it in the rest of the slides. So let's just copy the video, let's make sure that we delete this overlay and paste in the video and as always let's make sure that we bring those icons and those smaller pink circles to front. Alright, so let me finish the rest of the slides and I'll catch you in a second. Alright, so all of the slides are ready and we can jump to the first slide. And let's actually jump to the animation pane and let's see what's going on. As you can see we have the video animation and we have some entrance animations. So I think we can delete these entrance animations for now. And let's make sure that this video starts playing automatically. So with previous, that's good. And let's make sure that we have the same animation in the rest of the slides. So let's make sure that this animation starts with previous as well. And let's do the same procedure for the rest of these two slides so that all of these videos would start playing automatically, alright? And now I think we can check out the result on the full screen, alright? So this is our first slide and as you can see this video is playing automatically, alright? And once we transition to the next slide we get this uh, circle video for this second bubble. Now for the next bubble and now for the last bubble. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And to make it more fun, I think we could make these icons float up and down. So let me show you how we can do that. Let's go to slide number 8 and let's select this bulb icon. Alright. Let's go to path animations or motion paths and let's choose this line animation. Let's make sure direction is up. Okay. Now let's select this red bubble. This is basically the distance how far this bubble will go up. So let's make it a really short distance. We want just a subtle animation up and down, alright, 
So let's make sure that the duration is one and a half seconds. Of course, you can experiment. Let's make sure it starts with previous. All right, smooth start, smooth end. We can leave that. Let's make sure it auto reverses. And let's make sure it repeats until the end of slide. So it should be constantly moving up and down. So let's check it out. And now as you can see, we have this beautiful circle video playing in the background. And as well, we have this bulb icon floating up and down. That's awesome. All right, so now we can select this bulb icon. We can go to animations and we can double click the animation painter and we can paste the same animation to the rest of the slides. That's awesome. And after that, we can check out the result on the full screen. All right, so let's turn off the animation painter. And now we can enjoy these circle videos with these animated icons. All right, so the camera icon is floating up and down as well. That's awesome. The cinema glasses are flying in the air as well. And the painter is animated as well. Everything is according to the plan, Captain. All right, and let's check out these previously created slides. So as you can see in these uh, slides, we were using just a simple color gradient overlay. And in today's video, we have created these uh, circle videos with animated icons. So once again, feel free to choose uh, any slide design that you like the most. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and the last thing that I would like to share with you on this tutorial is how to insert a video into a phone frame. As you can see, this is just a picture of a phone frame, okay? And you can find this phone frame on freepick.com, link is in the video description. There you will find links to all of the other assets that I have used in this video. All right, and now we have to find a video that we will use to fill this phone. And this time, let's go to pexels.com slash videos and let's use this video of a person typing on this awesome looking keyboard. So let's just use this video. I have already downloaded this video. So let's go to insert and let's pick video from file. So here is that video. Let's insert it. Now let's make sure that this video has pretty much the same height as this phone frame. So we can position them side by side and we can match their sizes just like that. All right. And now we'll have to insert a rounded rectangle that covers the whole screen of the phone. And later on, we'll use that rounded rectangle to crop the video. All right, so let's make sure we go to insert shapes. We choose this rounded rectangle and now let's just insert a rounded rectangle. You can as well turn on the slide guides so that you can better see where's the center and middle of the slide. And now let's make sure that we cover the whole screen with this rounded rectangle. Don't worry if your rounded rectangle goes on top of the phone frame. It doesn't matter because later on we will send this uh, cropped video to back. So let's make sure that the video is in the center. Select the video, hold down the shift key, select the rounded rectangle. And once again, let's go to shape functions and let's choose intersect. And now our keyboard video has the shape of the screen. That's super awesome. Let's play the video. So everything is working fine. That's good. And now we can send this video just behind the phone frame. That's looking good. Let's actually bring the video back to the front so that we can select it. Let's go to playback options. Let's make sure that the video starts automatically. It loops until the end of slide. And let's jump to animations. Let's see what's going on. So now as you can see, the video animation is at the bottom. Let's move it to the top. Let's make sure it starts with previous. Okay. And by the way, as you can see, the video animation is called a picture. So we can go to selection pane and we can always rename our objects. So as you can see, it's named picture. Let's name it video. And now in the animation pane, as you can see, this animation is called video. So that's super awesome. Let's uh, send this uh, keyboard video to back so that we can see the phone frame. And now we can enjoy the final result on the full screen. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can get creative with the videos in PowerPoint. You have learned how to insert a full screen video background, how to add video circles to infographics, and how to insert a video into a phone. That's super awesome. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.